I actually literally broke down in class and started crying and she was there right beside me. And that's when I knew for me, this was more than a professor. My name is Michael, I'm from Berkeley, California. I'm Maddie and I wrote a letter to my former high school history teacher. My name is Raquel, I'm from Orlando, Florida. I am a high school senior who's about to graduate. And I'm a rising fourth year at the University of California, Berkeley. I'm writing this letter to my teacher, Mrs. Austin. I wrote my letter to Professor Hall. He was a mentor to me, a fantastic teacher, and taught me a lot of life lessons that I will never forget. I feel like she helped me so much overcome a lot of the depression I was feeling. On my first day of my junior year class, she came up to me and she said that she's going to be my biggest fan this year and I realized that she was a different teacher from any of the other ones I've had before. Teachers work so hard. They work so hard and they care so much about every student, but students are on sort of this trajectory and they're often more focused on getting out. She calls me queen and she says that a queen is never discouraged and a queen shouldn't feel down all the time. Here's my letter, it's on my computer, a page and a half long. So this is the letter that I wrote for Mr. Johnson. This is the letter. Hi, Michael. Oh, wow. Hey. How are you, baby? Wow, this is crazy. <gasps> so um, I wrote you a letter. Mr. Johnson, I actually wrote you a letter because I appreciate you a lot. And I just wanted you to know that. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was like, you have to be in med school. You have to be in business school. And right. when I stepped into your theater class, I, I was debating whether I was going to take the course. And I was like, Michael, you need to do something creative. And once I did that, I felt like a whole new light in me just like opened. So I'm so thankful for that. Dear Mrs. Austin, although my time at OXA has come to an end, I just wanted to thank you for being such an amazing teacher. I don't think you truly know how much of an impact you've had on my life. Life has a funny way of revealing your destiny because even while I'm at Cal, a friend of mine recommended your acting class to me. You've inspired me to not only become a better writer, but a better person. You were one of the few reasons why I really love to go to school every day. Regardless, it is rare I complete a project or consider my next steps without utilizing the skills and lessons that you taught me as my teacher. You have become like a role model to me and it would be such an honor for me if I ever grew up to be just as wonderful as you are. You gave me hope. You gave me determination. You had reinvigorated the dream that had once been alive in my head. It's as if the light bulb that had been blown out finally got replaced and restored with the new ones. I remember when I first met you, you told me that you were my biggest fan. And of course, I thought it was a joke because you didn't even know me that well. But today I know that you were not joking at all. I didn't feel like I fit in with any particular friend group. I was taking way more classes than I could reasonably balance. I still remember how after performing my monologue about racial injustices I've endured at the university, you and the rest of the class were there to comfort me. This was the type of support I never knew existed on campus. Thank you for always trying to come to my performances or award ceremonies just to cheer me on. You're the only teacher I know who would drive an hour away to Eatonville just to see me recite a poem for two minutes. And feeling like making a single mistake was just completely out of the question. But while I was in your class, I could focus on just one thing and ignore all the other stresses that were in my life. Being in your class taught me that wherever I go, my passion comes first. Acting is no longer something I yearn to do. It is something I'm actively doing. Since being your student, I've never met an adult with so much faith in young people. As a young adult now, I have found the most challenging dynamic to establish with people is that trust. Not only being my teacher, but being my mentor, counselor, or second mom. Wherever I go in life, I will always think about how your class was the confirmation for me that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm going to miss you so much and I love you. I appreciate your guidance and mentorship more than you will ever know. Thank you so much for being the best teacher ever, Mr. Johnson. This is my purpose. Thank you for being a part of that. Thank you. Why are you gonna make me cry? No, don't cry, because I'm gonna cry too. Thank you. I really <laughs> appreciate you. Oh my god. <laughs> I tell you what, when I'm surrounded by people like you, everything is possible. 
I know being uh, African American, it's so hard to go to a major institution and study the art because there's all these expectations of what you're supposed to be. Yeah, that's great. You know I'm here to support you in any way that you need. You know, I'm always there for you. So you call me, let me know you need something, and I'm there for you. I hope you send that to me so I can put it up on my wall. If I ever have a bad day at school or whatever, I'm going to look at it and be like, ah, okay. <laughs>